Hello, I am Zarkoon, and today I have a departure for you from our regular programming. This is World of Warships Legends, but it's more like World of Warships Legends after a night out on the town in which questionable decisions were made in part due to the participants having ingested questionable substances beforehand. I don't know, this game is just, as the title says, bizarre. And, you know, sometimes games on Fault Line are bizarre. This map does often lend itself into being a little bit of a cluster fudge. I got a Iowa, and I think it's a Turpits. It's some German battleship with me. I missed the name. We're spawned north of this Alpha Cap, and I'm kind of heading in. These guys look a little bit iffy on those prospects. Of course, there are going to probably be a lot of enemy ships over here. Anywhere up to six of them, so I can kind of understand the Iowa and German ship. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a Bismarck. I can kind of understand them not wanting to push up here, particularly after this enemy Yamato is spotted. I certainly don't want to be shot at by the guy, and I am in, I am in the Edinburgh, which is a fairly heavily armored cruiser as far as cruisers go. Nevertheless, it could be ripped to shreds by a Yamato, and frankly, when I was playing with this, it had been a while since I played the Edinburgh. I was kind of thinking maybe I had the smokescreen consumable. I don't. I have the radar. It's going to come in handy in a few moments here. But first up, we have this Mogami coming around the corner of that island over there. He's opening fire on us. We are responding in kind. And he takes a nasty hit from one of the battleships, so he is going to reverse back behind that island, and he's going to stay there for pretty much the rest of the entire game. He's actually going to be the last ship left alive on his team before all is said and done. And to give you an indication of how this battle is going to go for his team, let's just say he ends up on the top of the leaderboard with the most XP of any of these red ships. Back to the Edinburgh, though. No smoke screen, but radar suspicious looking smoke screen in the alpha cap which is turning red a destroyer ah yes a udachi excellent very good we definitely want to take this guy out but perhaps playing a little bit sloppier than we should because we come around this corner and what do you know if there isn't a bismarck and a legendary ship and another Bismarck down that gap right there between the islands. Three enemy ships with big guns. We have made a little bit of a mistake. Hopefully we can take out this Udachi in case this becomes a trade. Nope, we lose sight of him as the radar expires. So we immediately switch fire to Bismarck number one, who is none too pleased with us after the thumping we gave his Udachi. So he's aiming our way, he's gonna shoot. Another Bismarck is pulling up to join him. The legendary ship, I don't know what it is, is Head, heading away. He doesn't want to shoot at an Edinburgh. Maybe it's beneath him. I don't know. Torpedoes on their way from the Udachi. No danger of hitting us. And the Bismarck, both Bismarcks actually, are now tied up shooting our Iowa, who is counting away, or kiting away rather, and manages to avoid all of the Udachi torpedoes, which is a plus. I'm putting a few torpedoes of my own into the water, launching them at the general path along which this Bismarck is sailing as he pushes out past the cap circle in hot pursuit of the kiting Iowa. Why these guys don't choose to shoot at me, certainly I am a much softer target, and frankly the Iowa's main firepower is pointed toward the edge of the map at the moment. I don't know why they don't shoot at me, but you know, I'll take it. I'm turning around now, gonna get a little bit more aggressive, feeling a lot more confident now that I know these guys are not inclined to be aggressive. So I am gonna kind of push my luck, although it's not really pushing my luck. The 
Edinburgh does enjoy 30mm bow plating, and the Bismarck can't overmatch it. Doesn't mean he can't do a lot of damage to me if he hits me anywhere above the armor plating, but I hit him with a torpedo, and I cause flooding. There's going to be no fiery follow-up from me, though, since I am restricted to AP only. Nevertheless, I think it is going to do the trick here. We might be able to get the killing blow on this Bismarck, who is still not shooting at us. And what do you know? He spent all this time shooting at the Kiting Iowa, and who ends up getting the kill on him but me, the cruiser he didn't want to shoot. And that's just fine. Now, the Roma. He's aiming at us. In fact, four ships are targeting us at the moment, but the Iowa is targeting him. So, frankly, I'm shocked that I wasn't dead several minutes ago. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going to continue riding this incredible wave of luck and just run right toward the Roma. He doesn't even know what to do. He's never seen an Edinburgh you know, charge him like this. The Edinburgh is not a ship you see too often, honestly. Only got torpedoes on one side of the ship. That's not going to stop me, though. I'm going to chase this Roma. He does at least appear to know that I have torpedoes, and he wants nothing to do with those. Nevertheless, he's not shooting at me at all, and now he's giving broadside to the Iowa. A Udachi pops out, the same one we were shooting at earlier. He's launched torpedoes, but if I predict right, he's launched them in a path where the Roma is going to shield me from him as we take out the Udachi and turn our ship. Roma not paying any attention to us all. Turrets focused on the Iowa launch our own torpedoes at the Roma. If I'd been thinking a little bit quicker, I might have done the single fire spread, but... Two torps hit the Roma. We're giving him broadside now. Probably not great. His turrets do traverse quickly. And we do take a fair amount of damage. Don't know if it was from the Roma's main guns or his secondaries or something else. But we don't get the killing blow on the Roma. That goes to the Iowa. And now, after all that, enter the Hipper. The fun just never stops in World of Warships Legends. The Hipper is shooting at us. Unlike the Roma, who was focused on the Iowa, the Hipper, even with an Iowa barreling down right in front of him, wants to try to kill me. I don't know, maybe he knows me. Timid Mogami peeking out again. I'd prefer it if you went back behind the island, so I'm going to take a few shots at him. Perhaps one of these shells can penetrate his citadel, but if not, you know, just get behind the island. This this thing between me and the Hipper, we're going to need some privacy, all right? Hipper's approaching the Iowa. He's, well, he doesn't even need to use the torpedoes. The Iowa goes down, and now I am the only one left for this Hipper to shoot at. There is still an enemy battleship left alive, but he's on the other side of the map. So as far as it goes, it's just the German cruiser and the very sneaky Japanese one lobbing high explosive at me from behind an island. I did take out one of the Hipper's guns temporarily, and so he is reduced to only firing two shells at me. His accuracy, not top notch at the moment. Lucky for me, looks like one of my torpedoes, nope, not quite. The Hipper threads through the torpedoes. By now, he's probably repaired his guns. If they hit my side armor, it's going to be okay, but if they come up a little bit higher, I think they can actually penetrate the deck armor on this Edinburgh. I don't have any other explanation unless he just gets a lot of damage on my superstructure and some of the shots he takes during this engagement. He is starting to take fire from some of my teammates there, but he's only got eyes for me. I suspect he might know me or something. I don't know. He really wants to sink me, though. And... He, you know, spoiler alert, he is going to end up sinking me, but not before I get a little bit more damage on him. And at some point during all this, the enemy battleship went down, so now it's just this Hipper and this very timid Mogami who has just found the courage to come out after the traumatic spanking he took in the beginning of the match from, I think, the Iowa. Anyway, Hipper takes me down, and... Basically, my team is set up for a guaranteed win. 
before all is said and done. It's going to take them a while to catch up to the Hipper and the Mogami, but they're going to end up taking them out. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this battle because I played it and I thought, what the hell happened just now here? So I thought I would put it up on YouTube. I'll cut to the end now so you can see the result screen. Maybe I'll show you what happens to the Hipper and the Mogami, though. Yeah, so Friendly Wooster, he's acquired the Hipper along with the help of, I think, an Akizuki who is now behind an island off toward the left of the screen. Wooster is approaching the Hipper who has already proven himself to be quite the dangerous little cruiser. Took me out and if he is able to get his torpedoes off, he might just take out this Wooster. Let's see, torpedoes are spotted almost instantly, indicating that the Worcester might be running sonar. Nevertheless, he's not going to be able to get out of the way of these torpedoes, and they don't actually end up taking him out. Plot twist, it's the timid Mogami getting his first kill of the match. Hipper is still alive, but... The friendly Yamato turns around and smacks him back to port. And now the Mogami, after finding the courage to come back out and fight after taking a citadel, is once again moving toward the safety of an island, being pursued by a very low health Akizuki. Now, the Akizuki puts some fish in that water for the Mogami, but when it becomes clear that the Mogami is going to avoid all of them, he opens fire with his guns, allowing the Mogami to score an easy, I think that's his second kill of the match, and once again he finds himself tucked safely behind an island, but danger lurks just on the other side in the form of my teams Otago and Yamato who are honking their horns in a loud celebration of the impending victory. Otago fires AP Mogami is dead and congratulations on him or to him because he played the best game on the enemy team as you're going to see on the scoreboard. Hope you enjoyed this one. I thought it was a fun little video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.